Gary, I hear this last week you've been watching Real Time with Bill Maher. First of all, I want to know why. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've been watching Bill Maher since he had a show on Comedy Central. And at the time, I thought Bill Maher was fairly progressive and fairly reasonable. He has somehow evolved over the years into um, a blooming Dennis Miller. He basically just sh all over college. He said that it is Democrats indoctrinating young people. And I think college is invaluable for any young person to learn to think better and to experience people and thoughts and religion and thinking that they didn't grow up with in their little community. There was one African-American in my grade school and one in my high school. College was a shock to my system. I was suddenly with people who were Muslim, with people who were from all over the country, with people who were openly gay. I would hate to think of where I would be had I not gone to college. Can anyone here defend Bill Maher's thinking on this? Okay, yeah. no, <laughs> and no way. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no way, but I have Karen a lot says, of no, thoughts. she's got her, she's got an answer. <laughs> I do have an answer. I have been in higher ed for the last 20 years. I was in higher ed in Tennessee. We do not have a high number of college educated people. And we also have very, very, very successful, wealthy people heavily involved in their churches, pillars of the community who did not go to college, right? So college does seem superfluous to people. If college is what Gary has talked about, which is what I believe it is about expanding your mind, it has moved to a direct correlation between this is what you do in college, this is what you need to get a job. So what that means is, oh, we're gonna get rid of any philosophy department, because you know what, that doesn't help you get a job. We're gonna drive everybody to be business majors. We're going to standardize our education to basically corporate training. We need to keep this as low a cost as possible. How do I do that? I develop one online class and then I can deliver it across the state. And all I need those teachers to do is to check off the box. Our state oversight board is anti-education and they are definitely about training bots to be able to pay them $8 an hour to work in a place and just follow directions. Here's what I think, there's two important things to know. And that is, is that Tennessee has 11 electoral votes. So I'm trying to figure out what states can cancel that out that we don't yep. already. <laughs> you are feeling my life. Okay, this is what I am saying. Where can we get those electoral votes? Where, Just give up where, on Tennessee. Where we get where we get those electoral votes, at least for the next few years until Adrian yep. Fick down there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, con considering their COVID policy, I would think that you're there's gonna be a change in the demographic. <laughs> I think it is perfectly reasonable, you know, everyone who says we need to have a 50 state approach, I say bullshit. I mean, yeah. honestly, if I was a Republican, I would just have my head in the sand for shame and embarrassment. Cause Let's go. I mean, you, you gotta have some of that. And quite frankly, so yeah, 11 electoral votes. So we gotta figure that out. Yep. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <Let's> <laughs>